Hello, Honors Chemistry. Welcome to second semester of our 2020-2021 school year. We're going to start this semester out in our next unit, which is entitled Stoichiometry, with a lab. So the title of this lab, which was posted in Google Classroom, is called Reaction of Sodium Carbonate and Calcium Chloride. You can read the introduction where it talks about the law of conservation of mass, which says that everything you start with has to be accounted for in your products. The atoms are all there, they just rearrange themselves. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Let's take a look at the materials that we have. We're gonna be doing a reaction between sodium carbonate and calcium chloride. These are both white powders or white solid materials that will dissolve in water. We have our two beakers, which we will label shortly. We need distilled water which distilled water is pure H2O. There's nothing dissolved in it, like in your tap water. We have a graduated cylinder, massing boats, balance, and hot plate. We also are going to be using a ring stand with a ring, and then this is a funnel, which we will be using filter paper to um, filter our solution and retrieve our solid. Okay, so we're starting with day one procedure. I have my two beakers. They have already been washed with tap water and soap and rinsed with distilled water and are totally dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and label beaker number one. We label it right here with a pencil. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my initials just so I know that it's mine. And I'm going to weigh this beaker. You guys need to record these masses as well. The mass of empty beaker one is 106 grams points 106.60 grams okay now i'm actually going to skip down to step two where it says add approximately one gram of sodium carbonate into beaker one so here's sodium carbonate so i want to try to go up to 107.60 I'm just going to leave it there because I'm afraid I'll go over. So my second mass of beaker one with solid sodium carbonate in it is 107.59 grams. Okay, beaker two. Zero out the balance. Beaker number two weighs 102.05 grams. Okay, so I'm gonna skip down to step four, where it says without tearing the balance, add approximately 1.20 grams of calcium chloride to beaker two. So I wanna to try to bring it up to 103.25 grams. and make sure that you always double read your labels. I almost added sodium carbonate to that. So calcium chloride. So let's bring it up to 103.25. Ooh, okay, 103.25 is the mass of beaker number two in calcium chloride. 
Okay, now before I can get these to react, I need to make solutions for my reaction to take place. So step three says, add approximately 20 milliliters of distilled water to beaker one to dissolve the sodium carbonate. Swirl and warm the solution. And this sodium carbonate, even though it is soluble, doesn't dissolve all that well. So this one will definitely need some heating. So I have 20 milliliters into beaker one. I'm gonna stir this with a stir rod, but I wanna make sure that this is clean. So I'm rinsing it with distilled water. Just stir it up. So you can tell it's not dissolving all that well. So we're gonna help it along because things always dissolve better, generally, almost always, in a warm environment. And again, I'm rinsing the stir rod to make sure all that sodium carbonate gets down into the beaker. Okay, so let that sit. And in the meantime, I am now performing step five, add approximately 30 milliliters of distilled water to beaker two to dissolve the calcium chloride. I want to get eye level when I read my volume. The bottom of the miscus. And this is a clean stir rod. And you can tell calcium chloride dissolves much easier. And I'm not even going to have to heat this. Okay, so I set beaker two aside and check on beaker number one. So beaker one, I'm still having a little trouble dissolving, so I'll let that sit a little bit longer. I don't know if we'll get it all to dissolve, but we'll have enough of it that any leftover probably will not significantly affect our results. I don't know. What do you think, Mr. Huser? Look good enough? I think so. Okay. All right. Probably about as good as it's going to get. Right. Okay, this isn't hasn't been on there too long, so I think I'm still within uh, lab safety procedures here. Moving to step six. When the substances are completely dissolved, slowly add the contents of beaker two to beaker number one. And you are going to see the formation of a precipitate. Okay. Now to make sure that I have all of my calcium chloride out of beaker number two, I am rinsing with distilled water and adding that to my solution. And I'm gonna give this just a little stir and then we will heat it on a hot plate until the solution comes to a boil. We will be back. Beaker number one has achieved a boil and that's allowed us to let some of that precipitate clump up a little bit better to try to make the particles a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna move this over to a heat square off my hot plate. Okay, so we are going to next, we need, I'm on step eight, so I've turned off the hot plate and we're going to let the solid material settle to the bottom of the beaker. So while that sits, I need to mass a piece of filter paper on the balance. The piece of filter paper weighs 1.11 grams. Make sure that you record that. Okay, next I want to get my setup ready. So I have my ring stand set up with a ring and then a funnel and collar. And then beaker number one is ready to go. So I'm gonna put that underneath 
here and then set it off to the side like that. So beaker number two will catch my filtrate as it comes through the filter paper. So I gotta get my funnel ready. So I take my filter paper and I fold it in half and then I fold it in quarters. And then I wanna open it up so that I have three layers on one side and one layer on the other. It's almost kind of like a snow cone, if you will. Now that doesn't stay in there very well, so I'm allowed to take a little bit of distilled water and get my filter paper wet so that it'll stay in the funnel better. Okay, I can pour that excess water out. So next, canting. I'm going to take the liquid from beaker number one and pour it through the funnel and the filter paper. And my goal is to keep all of the solid in beaker one. Now beaker number one is hot, so I'm going to use beaker tongs. I'm also going to pour down my stir rod to help it control the pouring. When I use a filter, I want to make sure that the level of the liquid never comes above the top of the filter paper. And usually this process takes a while. If we were in class, it'd probably be towards the end of class and people would be panicking because the bell's about to ring. we want to make sure that our solid that what we end up with in beaker number one is just our precipitate and that none of the soluble other product is in there so I just did a little rinse with some distilled water and then I want to filter that as well and the filter paper in case I lose any of the solid the filter paper is going to catch that precipitate And I'm just going to do one more words and let that settle for a sec. filtered our substance so I am picking up with step 12 
So, or step 11 and 12. So I'm going to remove the filter paper from the funnel and set it into beaker number one, or number two, right? No, that's beaker number one. And then we are going to take beaker number two, which contains anything that was dissolved in my re double replacement reaction. So my soluble substance is dissolved in the water here, and then my solid substance is in beaker number one. Okay, so I'm gonna take these and move them over to the drying oven, this gray box. And we'll put it in there. And we're going to turn it on. And we're going to really crank up the heat because there's a lot of water in there. And we will be back. It's day two of our experiment. So our beakers have been in the drying oven to dry out. This is beaker number one. Beaker number one, the filter paper and the calcium carbonate have a mass of 108.65 grams. 108.65 grams. That's beaker number one with the filter paper and the calcium carbonate. Beaker number two, which contains our sodium chloride, has a mass of 103.23 grams. 103.23. 